house next door used to grow marijuana went up in flames. When we looked out the window, we saw the whole place was on fire. It was not an isolated incident. One local fire chief estimates more than 50% of all fires in the area are linked to growing pot. To have the house next door burn down because they're in there smoking it and growing it was a big thing. You're saying that it has gotten so bad here that you're willing to pack up and leave your whole life here behind to go start over somewhere else. That's true. We're just not going to take that chance with the kids. And there's more. Law enforcement officials say local growers often use guns and pit bulls for protection. They are the seeds sown by Mendocino County law, which for years has allowed each of the 88,000 residents here to grow up to 25 marijuana plants for medicinal, even recreational use. Mendocino County Sheriff Tom Allman is on the front line of this community's struggle with marijuana. People were saying it's just marijuana. What could possibly go wrong? And now we're seeing what could possibly go wrong. He told us about an entire neighborhood that wasn't what it seemed. You're ready for Aunt B to walk out and say hi to Annie Griffith. And you walk in the door and it's nothing but mature marijuana. Some of the houses look like beautiful houses. And there wasn't a single chair in any of them. What do you mean there wasn't a single chair in any? They were all indoor grows that had been built to make it look like a house with nice wood white shutters. So complete facade. Absolutely. Allman says that marijuana commerce is now so brazen, growers even ship their pot to customers via FedEx and UPS, though without the company's approval. If you were a business that sold shoes and somebody wanted to, in Florida wanted to buy your shoes, how would you get those shoes to Florida? Well, shoes and marijuana are two different things. It's a commodity, and right now, the commodity's been abused. This is an actual illegal industry that reaps huge profits, and nothing is really stopping it. Jim Wattenberger was the chairman of Mendocino County's Board of Supervisors. Does this economy depend on marijuana? Trish, I'd say that if marijuana was to be 100% eradicated, this county would become destitute. The small mom and pop grocery store, the agricultural product supply store, they're making probably 90% of their annual budget off of products that they're selling that help provide this product of marijuana in this county. How many people are really engaging in this? It's very unfortunate for me to state, but I believe about 60% of our populace is involved in one shape or another in the marijuana industry. 60%? Yes. It's embarrassing as hell. I I'm ashamed that we're known for this. I'm telling you these facts in an effort to turn the tide, to look for state and federal help. We went to the Federal Drug Enforcement Administration to see how an industry based on a drug banned by U.S. law could flourish so openly. There's a low risk of getting arrested. Uh, Javier Pena spent years running federal marijuana enforcement in Northern California. Right. If you have parts of Northern California in which economies are completely dependent on marijuana, isn't that on your shoulders? As DEA? I will enforce the law. I will go after the biggest and the baddest. But uh, blaming DEA for a uh, marijuana-based economy, I would say that's, uh, that, is, that is not correct. But who uh, else is going to control this? It's the people who have voted for the legalization of marijuana. Under federal law, illegal. Under state, it, it's legal. But as far as blaming DEA for a narco-based economy. I think that's not a correct assumption. I hate to say it, but Mendocino County is the true epitome of 2008's Wild Wild West. Just how wild it is can be felt in a new crime wave that's hit this region. Mr. Hopkins, your next witness, sir. More and more thieves are targeting homes believed to contain pot. This is a brownie arms. 9mm semi-automatic pistol. This defendant, Renato Hughes, was convicted of assault and burglary. Hughes, along with two accomplices, invaded a home to steal marijuana. 
This is the 911 call from a terrified mother. Next, gunshots. The homeowner shoots and kills Hughes's two accomplices. The marijuana trade has grown so large that even the environment is paying a price. This is industrial pollution from illegal pot production. They were pumping out a lot of marijuana, but... Jim Harrison, the county's environmental health officer, and Sheriff Tom Allman toured the damage left by a massive indoor marijuana grow. Doesn't handle like a million bucks a year? Easy. Easy. I was thinking more like five or six. Wow. This is what it looked like months earlier when it was raided. Authorities discovered two industrial-sized generators worth half a million dollars. They were used to power four rooms, just like this one all filled with marijuana. Harrison says that it will cost as much as $50,000 to clean up the mess. The pollution from the generators and the diesel fuel that they use and the herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, and those are all bad. Almost every grow that I go to, there's a, a diesel spill or a, a waste oil spill. The people who make their living in the pot trade can be found all over Mendocino County. These men who wanted to keep their identity secret may not fit your idea of drug dealers. Their backgrounds include journalism, politics, and law enforcement. Between them, they share 75 years of pot growing experience and feel strongly that critics of the marijuana industry are just blowing smoke. It's not considered disruptive to the community. It's actually more of a benefit to the community and people all know this. And that's why it's not considered a serious crime here. This grower says marijuana helped him dig out of a subprime mortgage disaster. I knew something of the business previously, and I felt that this was the best way for us to survive at this time. What would happen if the crop just disappeared overnight? What would happen to this economy? Well, there would be a lot of foreclosures, the same thing if... Apple closed their plant in San Jose. Well, be a lot of businesses closed too because yeah. they wouldn't have any customers anymore. Yeah, the economy would crash. It would tank. As the marijuana boom continues, so does the split in this community between those who grow and those who don't. I'm very much a part of my community and I'm as much a law abiding citizen as anybody. Just because you get a traffic ticket and have broken a law, does that make you a criminal? In June of 2008, voters put Mendocino's marijuana laws back in line with the rest of the state, lowering the legal number of plants that can be grown to six. But that has by no means settled the fate of the county's major cash crop. I know particular families that have come to this community who have been so successful. They now own three or four homes and have brought in other relatives from Washington, Oregon, Nevada, Utah, to partake in this gold rush. It's a family business. It's a family business and everybody's making money. While some are rushing into Mendocino, others say enough is enough. Joy Tucker says she simply couldn't wait any longer. We truly believe that it's different here. And so we are willing to move and completely uproot our entire family. Coming up. I need some 